welcome back and uh, now we continue with the discussion of the semi group coming from the heat equation namely this uh, w t f is k t star f ok. So, now we will prove the strong continuity. So, what you have to show? What you have to show is W T F okay, L P tends to 0 as T tends to 0 plus for all F in L P. So, I omit that R n, okay, so that is uh, L P means L P R n. every time <coughs> ok. So, like uh, we did in the uh, in the estimate of W T F. So, same thing we will do now. So, W T F of x minus f x. So, this is nothing but integral k t x minus y uh, f of y minus f of x. This is d y. Okay, so just each time we are using those properties of uh, <coughs> the <coughs> heat kernel. K t that integral is 1. Okay. So, all the time we are using that. Okay. Uh, so, similarly what we did in the previous thing. So, now we take absolute value and raise to the power p. So, this get w t f x minus f x to the power p. So, when p is equal to 1, so there is no trouble at all, but when p is bigger than 1, you again use uh, Helder's inequality to get this k t So, this is d y. Okay. So, again just now integrate with uh, respect to x and interchange the uh, <coughs> order of integration using Fubini. So, you get that. So, this implies uh, w t uh, f minus f. So, let me write that L p uh, to the power p. So, let us keep that for the moment. Okay. So, this is less than or equal to. Uh, so, let me just write once. So, this is integral d x uh, integral. So, I am going to interchange the integral and also make uh, this <coughs> change of variable in the integration. So, <coughs> especially with respect to y, okay, so this put x minus y is equal to z uh, into 4. Okay, so this 4 t is coming from this k t. Okay, if you do that, so this is less than or equal to 
let me write that pi to the so some cancellations are taking place. So, this in particular we get rid of this t factor here. So, let me just uh, k t z d z and f of x minus 4 t root z minus f of x p d x. Okay, so, just so, normally the in textbook you see in many textbooks they are correct in some way, but not fully correct. So, now you use the continuity in the norm of L p so, as t tends to 0, this goes to 0. Okay. So, there is some catch here. So, let me just make that clear. So, this you, uh, okay, let me just, okay. why you have to do little more. So, from the uh, continuity in the norm, we obtain okay so let me just this uh, given epsilon positive there exist delta positive such that for all uh, mod h less than delta we have norm of f plus h minus f you take this in the lp norm is less than epsilon <coughs> so this is the statement that uh, there is continuity in the norm okay so in our case so just taking t uh, small will not uh, fully justify because there is a z hanging over and z is not in a bounded set z is in whole of r n. Okay. So, just remember these are integrals on r n. Okay. So, <coughs> this smallness of t is not uniform. Okay. So, we have to do little more so, for that what we do is, so we write this uh, right hand integral as i 1 plus i 2. Okay. So, you also learn uh, how to do some rigorous mathematics. Okay. So, where okay. so i 1 is uh, so, they leave that constant pi. So, that is uh, so this is mod z bigger than r, same thing whatever k t z d z, and we have this integral another integral there. Okay. So, this r is a positive number, etcetera and i 2 is mod z less than or equal to r same thing. Okay. In this <coughs> the first integral, so this i 1 is less than or equal to, so let me just write that constant norm f p integral mod z bigger than r k t z d z. So, the inner integral I estimate by norm p and since k t <coughs> is an integral function this can be made this can be made
as small as we please by choosing R large. R very large ok. And once you make R you fix that R for which we can make this integral as small as we please and then you apply the same thing here. So, now this mod z is bounded. So, I can use this continuity in the norm now z is bounded ok. So, I can you use take small t uh, in here we can take T small to make I two small uh, using continuity. You know. Okay, so these are certain sub subtle issues in analysis. We have to. Uh, learn that ok. That proves the uh, strong continuity of the semi group uh, we want to. So, this finally we got this. So, thus uh, W t is a strongly continuous semi group. in L p and for the that range of p ok. So, next we proceed to find the generator of W t. Of W t and in the definition of this semi group nowhere do we see the Laplacian of course, Laplacian we see only through the heat equation ok. So, <coughs> you want to guess that it is uh, going to be Laplacian uh, is not immediately clear, but we have that background of heat equation and that is how we proceed ok. So, that is the next proposition. So, the generator and you will see some surprises generator of W t is the Laplacian. So, more importantly, so we have studied even in the abstract theory. So, we have to describe the domain of that generator right. So, with domain. So, let me write that d Laplace n p ok. So, this is the set of all L p such that also in L p ok. So, this is in the sense of distributions. So, let me just write that once sense of So, you have to keep on recalling these things ok. So, this you have to get used to that. Hmm? So, this means what? So, f of Laplacian phi uh, is equal to after this happens then only. So, there exist a an L phi function first you call it g ok. So, and this is this holds for all phi in 
d r n okay, and <coughs> the distributional Laplacian if you want to call and that you demand it to be again an LP function. Okay, so, this keep on recalling uh, these things from the <coughs> previous part of this course. So, what we have to show in this uh, proposition, so you learn also learn many things here. So, first of all for f in this uh, okay, for this thing uh, that any f in this d delta p, uh, Laplacian p is in the domain of the generator and generator we do not know so we have to show that is delta and uh, conversely if something is in the domain of the generator then we, we have to show that that uh, element also belongs to this subspace and a f is given by delta f okay, that is uh, that we have to show. Okay, so, proof So, let A be the generator of W t. From the abstract theory of course, we know that the domain of A is <coughs> dense in L p and A is a closed operator all those things we know. Okay. So, now in this case we have to show that the domain of A is precisely that set given by uh, d delta p and A f equal to Laplacian f for those f. Okay. So, we have two things to show. Okay. So, some <coughs> surprises about uh, are no, I should not say surprises, but certain things are not clear. Okay. Let me just comment on those things. So, D Laplace n 2. Okay. So, this is f in L 2 and Laplace n f in L 2. So, this is in R n. Okay. So, just remember that. So, using Fourier transform, so this equality, so this you can show precisely it is H2 of R n. Okay. So, this is for p equal to 2, okay. but such a thing, such a statement is not true in a bounded domain. So, if you replace R n by a bounded domain, so we may have functions in L 2 such that the weak Laplacian is also in L 2, but the first derivatives fail to be in L2. Okay, so, this is the first one and question. Now, we lose this power of Fourier transform. So, this question uh, let me say W. Okay, so, that is the question okay, whether it is equal to r. I will make more comments as we uh, <coughs> go further. Okay. So, now proof proof in. So, let us begin with something simple. So, for phi in c infinity C R n, we have this. So, from the classical theory, we have uh, 
W T phi minus phi divided by T minus Laplacian phi. In fact, not just P, any P tends to zero as T tends to zero. Okay, so here it's important that. Okay, <coughs> so this uh, how do you prove? How do you prove that quickly? So this is for all P prime. Okay, because of this uh, compact sub <coughs> support assumption. Okay, so proof of this. This requires a quick proof. So put. V of x t is equal to W t of phi of x. So, from the classical theory we know that then V of uh, t is equal to Laplacian V and so let me just V of uh, x t converges to phi of x uniformly because that is compact support uniformly in x as t tends to 0. And again for t positive these are all smooth functions. So, that further implies the Laplacian v so, Laplacian with respect to x variables also converges uniformly to Laplacian. Same thing. Okay, so, we are using heat equation. You see that this function given by the Fourier Poisson formula is indeed satisfy the wave equation. Okay. So, next so, we have V of x t minus V of x 0. So, I get just 0 to t uh, may be I'll get tau V of x tau d tau, but <coughs> this satisfy the wave equation. So, you just get uh, 0 to t Laplacian as x tau d tau and now you divide by <coughs> t divide by t and let t dash to g. And you can use any norm you like, any norm you like. So, you just write this <coughs> uh, W t phi minus phi by t minus Laplacian phi, any norm you like. So, this is less than or equal to 1 by t 0 to t Laplacian v x tau minus Laplacian phi x. Data. And that tends to 0, because from this in any norm, any norm you like. So, that is the first step. So, for at least for smooth functions, we know that Okay. So, thus uh, the class of smooth functions is in the domain of the generator and a phi is equal to Laplacian phi for 
phi in that is the first term. So, in particular d a is dense d a is dense in <coughs> ok. So, now <coughs> we take that with the first part. So, now take Uh, f in d delta p. Okay, so this is set of all f in L p, whose distributional Laplacian is also in L p. So we'd like to show that f is in the domain of the generator, and a f is equal to Laplacian f. Okay. <coughs> Uh, okay, no, no, just uh, okay, that. No, first here I've written. It. Let me go as I've written it. So just okay. First you take f in t. So then there exists g in L p, this is by the definition of the domain of the generator such that this w t f minus f by t minus g in p L p norm tends to 0 as t tends to 0. So, this is the definition of the generator ok. So, now for again phi smooth, so test function. So, we have, so this is uh, some computation. So, this is R n integration g x phi x. Okay. So, I will leave it as some exercises. So, the interchange of limits and uh, integral. So, this can be done. So, T inverse W T F minus F X phi X T X. Okay. And this, uh, this is an integral operator. So, you can just pass this, this w t on to here. So, you just write down, you see that. So, this is uh, f of x w t phi of x minus x phi x by t t x. Okay, just <coughs> these are integral operators, so you just change to that. That is fine. And now we have seen that this just now we saw that. So, this converges to Laplace. In fact, uniform so, this gives us f of x. So, again this is r n and that shows that f is in uh, so, this g is nothing but a f f is in this Laplacian p and g is Laplacian f. But g is also a f, so that is. So, this is one way. So, if we start with an element in d a, we conclude that that is in this space d Laplacian p and a of f is equal to 
uh, del f. Okay, so, this is what one. So, conversely, conversely, so then we will suppose f is in d Laplacian p and we need to show need to show f is in the domain of the generator and f is Laplacian. Okay. <coughs> okay, so, put g equal to Laplacian f. So, this is in the weak sense and by assumption that is in L p. Okay. So, for so again some computation. So, at for t bigger than 0 you consider this 0 to t w tau g d tau. Okay. So, this is a function actually. Okay. So, we are suppressing that. Uh, okay. We are not suppressing. So, just <laughs> not written. Okay. Uh, of x, let me write that phi of x. Uh, d tau. Okay, so this again phi is in c in p. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so, this remember this g is Laplacian f. So, uh, okay, then I want to integrate this with respect to x. There are two things. Okay. So, interchange the integral. So, just see that these are all justified. So, let me write that w tau g of x phi x dx and then d tau. As you did in the previous case, so you transform this w tau to phi. Okay, just let me write that. Uh, <coughs> so, verify these things. Uh, let me write that. So, f x. So, I am skipping one step here because g is Laplacian of f and Laplacian also I am taking to phi okay so you do it twice so w tau laplacian phi of x dx and then d tau okay. and uh, again you see phi is smooth okay and this is the solution of the heat equation w tau phi. So, this is precisely is equal to del tau phi. Okay. So, very subtle subtle things. So, again you interchange the integral f x d x and now if I integrate this derivative with respect to t. Okay, so, I get uh, <coughs> w uh, delta w tau. Okay, let me write. So, again we are using 
that it satisfy the heat equation. So, you do it carefully. So, this is nothing but so let me write that del tau w tau y because it satisfies the heat equation and now if you uh, do in this uh, t integration or tau integration. So, you get w t phi and at 0 it is identity. So, it is just x d x. Okay. Uh, next ok and now again you transform this w t to f. Very nice computation, so you should do that. Okay. So, let me one more <coughs> line I just say that. Okay. So, this is true for all phi in C infinity. So, we conclude that we conclude that W T f minus f is equal to 0 to t w tau g d tau. Okay, because that relation holds for all phi which are c infinity with compact support and now divide by t divide by t and let t tends to 0. So, it shows that this limit exists. So, conclude that a f is precisely g w 0 g. So, this is g a. Okay. So, uh, let me stop here and I will continue uh, with little more remarks on this thing and then we will discuss some more uh, the actually the converse problem I will uh, discuss that. Thank you.